What is going on y'all? Christian here back with another iteration of the Loom Video cold email strategy. You've seen me talk about it time and time again and it works extremely well, but I want to add in a new twist to the Loom Video strategy that you've never seen before. So sit tight, let's dive in. I'm going to show you how to write a cold email script that produces a Loom Video response where a prospect says, yes, please send me a video. I'm going to show you how to record the video send it over email and get a response to it all in the next 10 minutes. Let's get into it. So without further ado, here we go. When you're writing a loom video script, the, you either want to go with a Trojan horse strategy or a traditional strategy. And I'll show you what a Trojan horse strategy looks like. So it's really simple. The Trojan horse loom video strategy is a two line email that literally starts with an observation about the prospects business where you're saying something like I was checking out company's website and noticed a few things that are likely hurting your conversions. I recorded a quick video breaking down the causes and how to fix them. Mind if I share it with you here. You're not pitching a single thing. You're not pitching a single thing. You're making it really low barrier to entry for a prospect to say, yes, I want to see the video. And you're not really selling anything. You're just saying you notice something about their business that is harming their conversions, their sales, whatever the case may be. Why do we do this? So that you get the green light to make a video for a prospect. The only thing is the Trojan horse video script only works if you're a front facing business, web design, SEO, email marketing, ads, creatives, uh, YouTube strategy, right? If you're doing CRM build outs, you can't really make an observation about a company's CRM because it isn't, it's not publicly available. You can't go do an audit of it on a loom video. But if you are a front facing business, like I said, SEO, email marketing, Facebook ads, where you can make an observation about what it is that they're doing, this script is absolutely money. And here's a template you can literally copy and paste no matter what your offer is. I was checking out companies X and noticed Y. I was checking out companies or I was checking out Klein Ascension's email newsletter and noticed a few things that are hurting your sales. I was checking out Klein Ascension's Twitter page and noticed a few things that are costing you impressions. I got hit with one of Klein Ascension's ads and noticed a few things that are hurting your conversions. The CTA is always the exact same. I recorded a quick video breaking down the causes and how to fix them. Mind if I send it over? Prospect says yes, you record a Loom video. Now, if you can't do a Trojan horse pitch because you're not a front facing business, it's even easier. Just take your cold email script that you already have, replace the CTA with a video pitch and send it off. So for example, Hey, I noticed you're the founder at client Ascension. We can help you sign your next five coaching clients from YouTube with an organic YouTube growth strategy right? Really simple. And now this is a traditional cold email. The only thing you're going to do is say, mind if I share a video going over a YouTube strategy I put together for client Ascension. Really easy, right? You're not changing anything with a tradition, like whatever email you currently have sending out, just replace the CTA with a video pitch and that's it, right? And if you're like, okay, great, that's pretty basic. There's other ways you can go about this. For example, let's say I take this exact same opener and I throw in a case study. We recently helped list kit add 20 K MRR in a month from their YouTube. Okay, great. Now you can tie in the CTA to the case study. Mind if I share a video going over a few strategies that can help you do the same, right? So like whatever your cold email script is, just add in a video pitch. It's that simple. Mind if I share a video of our best performing YouTube videos of all time, right? Like no matter what CTA you have, you can weave in a video there pretty easily. That's the entire loom video pitch. That's the easy part. Anybody watching this can copy and paste this exact script and get replies. The real fun comes in when you want to get an actual answer to your email. So let's just say I'm a, an e-commerce, I do email marketing for pet brands and I get a reply from PetSmart, for example, right? Here is exactly what a Loom video would look like for an email marketing offer for pet brands. The farmer's dog, human grade, fresh dog food delivery. So say, say uh, Joe from farmer's dog responds to my email. Here's what I would do for their Loom video live on camera. Let's get it ready. Three, two, one. What's going on, Joe? Really appreciate you responding to my email. Wanted to make this quick three minute video going over three things you can change to the farmer's dogs website to get more happy pet owners 
to purchase your products and get their dogs the best possible food. So quick background on me. Um, we work exclusively with pet brands with a customer email list of at least 10,000 people with at least 10 product SKUs. Already working with the Clavio agency and using Clavio for email marketing. We've already worked with pet brands like Chewy and BarkBox, and we've got more than $50 million in email revenue generated in the last two years. And I can replicate this exact same email strategy into your Klaviyo, even if you have a Klaviyo agency. So first and foremost, Joe, I noticed that on the screen, there's no pop-up for any kind of discount code to opt into the email list. I noticed that it populates up here in the corner, but if you really want to convert email subscribers, you're going to want to have it pop up in the center of the screen so the customer cannot ignore it. Number two, the copy on this actual opt-in is inefficient because you should have the email, the name, and the phone number field show up right away. Um, and it looks like I have to go through a quiz, which is smart, but I would want to collect their name and email before the quiz even starts so that I don't have any drop-off rates or anything like that. For example, if I go through this quiz, you know, it takes me a couple minutes and customers have a really short attention span, as you know, and they're probably going to fall off from the opt-in. Okay, so that is what I would do for a quick example of a Loom video for a prospect, giving them three minutes of sauce, and then at the very end of the video saying, Joe, if any of this was valuable, the email pop-up, the, the email collection before the quiz starts, let me know how tomorrow or Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern works on your end for a quick call to discuss how we can implement this pop-up and an email flow that will outperform your existing email agency, fully guaranteed. Looking forward to speaking with you. Notice how I didn't end the video with great to meet you, talk soon, or, you know, let's hop on a call. I'm saying, how does tomorrow or Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern work for a call? So in the prospect's head, it doesn't go from a yes, I want to call or no, I don't want to call. It goes to tomorrow or Monday, right? It changes the entire psychology of the meeting because now they're like, oh, Monday works better. Let's talk then, right? And something else that you guys probably noticed that I've been testing recently is calling out my ideal client avatar in the beginning of the video on a slideshow. Pet brands, 10,000 person email list, 10 SKUs in their product line, already working with an agency using Klaviyo. You know, quick uh, social proof, we've worked with Chewy and BarkBox, 50 million email revenue in two years. Someone in Client Ascension is using this strategy with the slideshow pulled up and their Loom video watch rate is 100%. Everyone that opens a video watches the entire thing because if you call out your ideal customer and your ideal customer is watching the video, they're gonna watch it all the way through and they're going to be engaged the whole way. And if you're like, Christian, why would I call out my specific avatar? What if somebody that responds is not in my client avatar? Then they're not a good, they're not a good fit for you anyways. So it literally doesn't matter. You're calling out the people you want to work with and that's going to attract your ideal clients. Now, let's say the video is fully recorded and I want to send it over to Joe. I'm not going to send them a link. I'm going to go share. I'm going to go embed and I'm going to copy the thumbnail and now I'm going to go over to my inbox and I'm going to send this email off to the prospect video for Joe, right? And the reason I'm not sending a link is because nobody trusts a link. Instead, I'm going to show them email audit for Joe at farmers dog. Just like how you would personalize a cold email, this email thumbnail personalizes the video pitch for you because a prospect's going to see the video and go, Oh wow, this was made specifically for me. I want to engage with this. Now here's what you say in the actual email to get their response. Hi Joe, here's the custom email audit video I prepared for you. Just click the thumbnail below to view it. Make sure that you tell people to click the thumbnail because God forbid they don't know how to click the thumbnail. You'll notice at 2.30, I mention an email pop-up strategy that'll double your opt-in rate. And at four minutes, I show you how to optimize your quiz on your website. Why do you want to do this? It's like a trailer of a movie. You're giving people highlights of the video so that they have incentive to click on it because if you don't tell them what's in the video, they're not really gonna care, right? Now, the thumbnail's there, they click on it. How does tomorrow or Monday repeat the exact CTA that you stated in the video? Work for a quick audit call to do a full step-by-step -step breakdown of your Klaviyo. And if you're watching this and you're in a completely different industry with a completely different business, the same principles apply. I'm just using Klaviyo as an example because it's a popular offer. You can do this for Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok, email marketing, web design, newsletter creation, YouTube, manufacturing, like consulting. It doesn't matter. This works across the board. If those times don't work with you, 
um, you can pick, you can find something on my calendar here, and then you're going to link your actual calendar at this step. So you give them the option to choose Monday or tomorrow, tomorrow or Monday, um, and then you link your calendar as a last ditch resort. Feel free to grab something. You don't want to like say you can, you don't want to instruct them. Feel free. It's like an invitation. See the difference there. That's good psychology practice. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You send the video, you send this email off. What happens if you get ghosted? You just follow up every two to three days. Hey, Joe, what'd you think of the custom video audit? How does tomorrow or Wednesday work for a call? And just keep following up literally 20, 30 times if you need to, to get the response. Hopefully this was valuable. You just saw 12 minutes of sauce that could literally help you sign your next 10 clients just like that. If you want one-on-one -on -one help from me to sign more clients with a Loom video cold email pitch, book a call with Client Ascension. We will show you how to set up an email campaign that pitches videos to prospects at scale. And then we'll show you how to close the deals, fulfill, get results for your clients, et cetera, et cetera. If you just want copywriting help, I have a one-on-one -on -one consulting link in my bio as well. You'll get a full three-step email sequence with the Loom video pitch written for you on the call. Either way, hope to talk to you soon. Hope this was valuable. I'll send the email off as the end of this video. Like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks.